This is Mike from Mike's Magic Auto Detailing and Paint Enhancement. What I'm going to do is, it's been a few days. I told y'all I was going to get my car ready, this 98 Mustang GT, ready for a new ceramic coating. Because it's been sitting outside for quite a while now. And I just want to walk you through the steps. Uh, for strip washing basically and everything else we need to do to get ready for that ceramic coating and I'd say 99.9% .9 of the cars that I see Have to be or need to be strip washed because nobody ever does that and What I've done is Gathered some of the stuff that I'm going to be using to accomplish this today first and foremost will be my electric pressure washer. That's my cheaper one that I bought at Harbor Freight for very cheap, I think 70 bucks or something like that. And I'm using it today. <clears throat> I bought it as a backup because my good one, my Ryobi, has stopped working. And actually this one works just as good as my Ryobi. It just doesn't have quite as many features. And after I'm finished with all these washing steps and all that, then I'll be using my uh, electric leaf blower which i will use to force air dry the vehicle and over there you can see my bucket full of brushes and tire brushes and all that kind of stuff and you know i've been doing this stuff for a very long time since i was a teenager basically and we won't talk about how old i am now and for the last few years probably the last four years I've been doing it here at home and opened up a little small time business and I specialize in really hammered vehicles. I've taken several online courses just to get into the modern era of products, etc. and watched countless, countless videos, Sub bought books, subscribed to the Pro Detailers magazine, and done a lot of experimenting with different products and stuff. So. Yeah, I've kind of figured out what I'm doing here. <laughs> and if you like this and want to keep following it, hey, tag somebody that you think might be interested in following all these steps where we come up to finally applying the ceramic coating. <clears throat> and if you have a question or a comment, hey, Please do it down below there and I will try to follow up on the questions and answer as many of them as possible. I don't often like to endorse particular products or brands, but sometimes I will just tell you what I use. Sometimes it's for no particular reason, it's just what I happen to use uh, after a lot of experimenting and stuff. Some of the things that I get, you can't buy locally, but you have to order them. For example, here's a few things that I will be using today since I'm going to be strip washing this car. And as we move into that phase, we'll be talking about some of these products, what I'm using them for, what they do. You see my foam cannon there, it's just a cheap one off of Amazon. I think it was $20, $25. You, know, you can buy them up to $150 or more. But this one works just fine for me. It's good. So, you know, my first step all I'm gonna do is what we call a pre-rinse. And what that means is I'm gonna take my hose, which is over there, I'll hook it up to my pressure washer with a fan tip, and I will blast as much dirt and dust and that sort of thing off the car as is possible at that step so that I I remove as many contaminants from the paint as I can and the more things you can get off before you get to your contact wash the less marring is going to occur on your paint when you get to that step you know after this then I'll foam the car let it dwell for a few minutes same thing removing even more of that surface film and stuff off of the car as possible. I'll let that sit, then I'll 
rinse it thoroughly and I'll explain that in more detail as I get to it and then after that we will probably do wheels and tires because you don't want to do that and then end up later on getting that nasty stuff back up on your clean paint and then we'll do the contact wash which is one of the last stages and then we'll dry it and I'll show you how I do that and then we'll pull it in the garage and hit on the next steps which probably includes clay barring all that kind of stuff and then the last step will be polishing and then a paint prepping and then applying the ceramic coating I'll show you everything I use how I do it that sort of thing but I have never done this live stuff before <laughs> so I thought I'd give it a shot see how it goes I'll be following back up so y'all keep up with me now and watch these different steps I'm gonna try this method in addition to the YouTube method for walking y'all through these things and you know you can you can check out the links on my business page here there's some videos and stuff links to videos from my YouTube channel where I went through a lot of this stuff don't forget now ask questions and make comments if, if you need to I'll try to follow up on those as best I can thank you